Eh, how to make coffee with a French press, blah, 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 blah. Kind of. Hi, guys. I'm just going through my process to make coffee in the morning. I'm more of a tea person, but I've been trying to make fancy coffee lately because I'm extra. So, get some hot water. Optional. Make it filtered. I had this, and I haven't used it in a long time, so I decided to feed your dog. That's what that is. He, he appreciates it. Where is he? Okay. Okay, so this water is pretty hot. Uh, because I'm trying to be accurate or something, I'm going to try to find my thermometer. Okay, so let's see how hot the boiling water is. should be like 110. Or not 110, I meant 200. Because that's 210s when water boils. So it should be... Does water boil at 200? I thought it was like 220. I know I'm just throwing numbers out there, but that's that's what I thought. Okay, so the ideal brewing temperatures in this case, I think, is 195. So I'm going to turn this down, but let it keep it going a little bit. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to adjust my camera so it looks like I know what I'm doing a little more. Okay, so I'm going to do this with a French press. I'm going to kick the, the camera stand a bunch. I'm going to move this so the picture looks better ish close enough so there's my french press here's my little coffee grinder i gotta find the top it's in the dishwasher i'm getting it there it is okay i also have another coffee grinder because like i told you i i really want a nice cup of coffee and i'm not even a coffee person uh right. so the burr grinder you're you got more consistency in your grind is what i've read i have no idea i'm not a fucking expert on making coffee versus this it's just blades randomly hitting the beans. So inconsistent sizes. But I'm going to be going for a pretty chunky ground course. Which I think means thick. I think. Okay. I'm going to do this with some beans. And I'm supposed to measure the beans per water. And have like one gram? No. One gram of coffee to every ten grams of water? Something like that? I don't know. <coughs> well, just teach you how to use motherfucking scale, guys. Okay, this is a scale. It measures things. You do this. Turn it on by pressing the power button. You put this thing on here. Now I know it weighs 194 grams. That's how you use a fucking scale. But you tar it, and now it weighs nothing. It's called fucking magic. Einstein did not know what he's talking about. So I'm gonna put some beans in here. That's like some beans. That's that's like more beans. There we go. Sexy close up. Okay, I, I should probably put. Look at that. I should have done this all. At, look at how cool that looks. This is all in focus, and that's all blurry. That's how the pros do it, man. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in real close. So I want you guys to see this for something. I should probably put the lid on this because otherwise that shit's going to go everywhere. I think I'm supposed to put the lid on it before. Yeah, there we go. Also, I don't care. I'm sorry about your ears. I should have warned you before. So I want it pretty coarse. That's pretty chunky looking. Let's see. I mean, that's that's like tree bark. That is... Oh, God, that smells so good. But see, because of this, go and see. Some of these are pretty small. Some of the, Look at this. There's a whole damn bean in here still. A whole damn bean. But supposedly French presses are a little more forgiving. Okay, we're going to do... And, oh, it's clean. Yes. Okay. I read a bunch of stuff online, so I'm trying to follow it without looking at it. And that's why I can't bake. So let's uh, dump that in there. It's probably like a billion too much coffee. Okay. So there's our 15 grams of delicious coffee. This is a measuring cup. This is what you use to try to be accurate in your life. 
So we're gonna take this guy. We're gonna make him not exist. Oh, it's so hot! Okay, that's not gonna be a very big cup of coffee. So that's a hundred, and it was fifteen grams. Fifteen times ten is a hundred and fifty. I think that's how that works. I think you just fucking add a zero or something. I want a little more than that. I kind of like a weak coffee. Someone said 15 to one part, which would not be the same as 10 to one part, which 150 to 15 would be one part. Let's just make it 200. Yeah, 202 is fine. That's a good number. Okay, let's look at the temperature again. I'm trying to be super fucking accurate. Temperature is. Look how fast that cools off. It's already 175. My coffee's too cold. Move that, move that, don't burn. And then the coffee that floats up to the top. Move it back a little. It's called a bloom. That's bad. The first step is to make sure all your coffee is wetted and you don't want to do that and get it all up on the side like when you're in a rice cooker and you get it all on the side you're supposed to stir it so that all the coffee kind of sinks to the bottom I guess and you're supposed to use a long stir that's used to make cocktails so it looks a little bit cooler and because this french press is for making a billion cups of coffee and I'm not making a billion cups of coffee I should probably have set a timer and I did not it's 8.16 it's been in there for at least 30 seconds so I'm going to brew it for 3 to 3 and a half minutes um, I don't know if this matters. Maybe this will keep the heat in. Maybe I should brew it longer because it's a little colder, but no. Try to keep the details similar. And you're supposed to plunge it very slowly, but because this is for so many cups, it only goes down to like here. So I can't plunge it when I'm just trying to make one fucking cup of coffee. Okay, so it's been like a minute. So I'm going to make my milk foam because yeah, I told you I'm doing this. Okay, let's try this again because we got we gotta take the coffee off, okay. Put some water in there. No weird black particles. Take this, take this, put it on real tight, even though someone's probably gonna leak anyways, because it's not great. And you shake, it. shake it. That's my Cowboy Bebop cup. Wait, that's a lot of coffee. I don't know! I don't know, it's been three and a half minutes. Let's go really slow. But that's as far as it fucking goes down, so I can't compress it any further. Because I'm not making a big thing of coffee, because I don't drink that much coffee. So I guess if I do this really slow, and I pour it like I'm stupid here. Da -da -da. But I gotta make sure it looks cool. smells pretty nice. Oh god, it smelled bitter though. It doesn't taste- oh, 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 there's a little bitterness there. Okay. Coffee foam. Uh, get out of there. And go the extra, extra mile. You get this thing, because you didn't realize how big it was when you bought it. Or maybe you did, and you just didn't care, and you scoop some, and you put it in there. And you, sp you spill the money. You stir it. You should have done this before you put the milk stuff in. Okay. Okay, so this is the kind of cup of coffee that's kind of something, and... It'll work. It's kind of bitter as hell, but no, it's not that bitter. I'm just weak. Cheers! Go make your cup of coffee. I bet it was far more effective and efficient than my method.